from rhinestonetemplates.com and I'm working out of the rhinestone template studio today and filling some orders for some um, customers so I thought I'd kind of bring you guys along with and and you can work with me here for a little bit what I've done um, is I've or I'll, um, I'm going to be working and making a transfer actually and the transfer we're going to make um, is my heroes do not wear capes they wear dog tags and that's the transfer that we're going to be working on um, in this video and what I'm working for for my supply, working with with my supplies today is I'm working with um, my new purple Easy Lift Flip or Easy Lift Flex workstation that um, I created, and it's made out of a flocked material, and um, it is anti-static when we use it with our sti sticky flock templates or with our green rubber templates. So I've actually backed my um, template with a backer here on this particular video uh, just to show you different ways of doing different things and I'm going to be laying it on my workstation so I still have my anti-stick um, or anti-static um, for this particular template because it's a large template and it can produce some static pretty good. I've dusted my template with baby powder so I don't have any of the, the self-healing repositionable glue seeping out to hold our stones and when we go ahead and, and take this off. But let's go ahead and get started. Um, I am also working with my rhinestone scoop. I'll be working with my rhinestone brush. I always have a pair of tweezers and I love the angle tweezers but you can work with whatever you like to use. And I'll be working with Korean um, 10 SS or 3 millimeter low lead rhinestones that we sell on our website as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just start loading up my template here. And I like to work with a lot of stones. The more stones that I work with, actually, the more um, it seems like it kind of helps push the stones in place. You know, when we're um, making our transfer, the stones kind of bump up against each other and kind of push themselves in their right side up. When you're making a template, you always upsize your holes so your stones can go in really easy and can route really easy as well, too. And I'll just go ahead and just start brushing some of my stones. And I do a small, light kind of a wave pattern when I'm using the rhinestone brush and just get those stones into the holes. Um, you don't have to go fast at first, just kind of learn your technique and, and as you as you get going you'll end up building up speed. You know, but the and one of the most important things like I said is is the right size stone when you're you're cutting your templates. There are many different template materials to use um, and we use a lot of different ones at at rhinestone templates and uh, if I have a smaller order for someone, I'll use this green template material, the rubber that we have. If I have a larger order and we want to go real fast and we've got 500 transfers to pop out in a matter of a short period of time, we'll um, go ahead and use the sticky flock because it's much faster material for picking up the transfers from. It's a little lower um, profile material than what the green rubber is, so the green rubber, the stones actually go in a bit better. but sometimes when you pick up because this is made out of a rubber material the transfer tape can actually kind of stick to the top a little bit um, and that's another reason why we dust it as well I'm just brushing off my excess stones here just kind of pushing them out of the way just kind of see what we've got where we need to put some new ones in this is where you also look to see if you have any bad stones um, a bad stone would be a stone that might just look like it's totally clear and not really sparkly. That means that the um, the actual glue could have disc could have come off the back. That's not really common in the Korean stones. It's a little more common in some of the Chinese stones or the lower grade um, Korean stones that you might find. Another situation would be a um, oblong glue or a glue that sits outside of the um, the area of the roundness so it kind of hangs up on your template and doesn't like to go in really well too. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just clean some of these stones out of here and push them out of our way so we can get ready to clean up our template here, see if we have any doubles in places, which we usually do right at first. So, just working my scoop and getting those stones all out of our area there. <coughs> Excuse me. I have some allergies, so sometimes I I lose my voice, so bear with me a little bit, but, okay, 
So I have, now I can see kind of where I'm at and I see where I have some excess stones. So I'm coming back in, just kind of working those excess stones out of the way. And then I'll come over and I'll actually visually do it with my eyes and a tweezer too. It never fails usually when you're you're working with stones. You think you've got all the extras out of the way and then you go to put your transfer tape on and you run into a an area where one didn't pick up really good. And if that's the case, it's usually because there's a, a stone stuck underneath it. So now let's just go ahead and here's a bunch of them over here. Get those out of there. And now I would just come through and um, there's two ways of doing this. One would come through and just manually get rid of some of these little buggers here. The other one was you could come through with a bigger brush and swoop them all off, the extras, if you want. I find that the bigger brushes actually create some static. So when I have a big image like this, I like to stay away from the bigger brushes. Um, it just ends up creating a little bit too much static for me with my my stones. If I have a smaller image, there's, that's not a problem. I'll work with the bigger ones, and it does sweep the stones in really nice and fast. So I'm just going through and picking up all my extra little ones and tossing them off to the side, and I accidentally picked that one out of there. So, put that one back in. Here we go. Oops, turn that one over. And as you can see, I didn't have any of the USD or the upside down stones in this template at all. And that's because um, of the size of holes that I cut. When I cut a for a 3mm or a 10SS stone, I actually cut for uh, a 14SS stone. So I have plenty of an area for those stones to go in, turn around, um, go upside down so that the glue is on the bottom side and it's ready for me to go ahead and um, put the transfer tape on and pick up the stones. Oh, I've got a wild one there. All right, we're about a little over halfway through on this here. And this actually, this template or this transfer is for a, a large order for my um, some of my military accounts that I do. And um, I introduced this design a week ago onto our website, rhinestonetemplates.com, and had um, some, real, some really great response to it. And it's nice to know that um, you know, your designs are welcome and people like your designs, but when you, it has a, you do a design that has some meaning in it, it's, it just makes it all the more special for you. We do have a lot of download designs on our, our website, um, and you, we have them in SVG format for anybody who has the um, Make the Cut software or the Cameo cutters or any of the little smaller cutters. And uh, we have EPS, and we also have some DXF files as well. And I think we're done here, so I'm going to go ahead and, like I said, push those out of the way like I did before. These rhinestone scoops come in so handy. Getting your stones out, getting your stones back to where they be belong, and getting them just out of your out of your space. And I'm just going to do a little once over here just to make sure I didn't leave any stones anywhere. And it looks pretty good. So grab your transfer tape. And um, I use a lot of different transfer tapes. My favorite, actually, is just the Mylar transfer tape that's really quite affordable. And um, it's a hot fix transfer tape. And um, I cut it a little bit larger than what we really want it to be. I'm just going to push this up a little bit to get it more central. Cutting a little bit larger works a lot better than cutting it too small. You cut it too small and yeah, once you get it over to your stones and your it's not a good thing. So I just lay my this one color one just down like that, kind of start it in the middle and just lay it down. I see you got a couple extra stones down there. We'll pick out when we're done. Just rub it really, really good. The other reason why I use this flock station is because um, you know, now on the outside here, it's not going to stick to the outside of a table or something else and cause resistance. Hold your template down in the corner. I always work from one corner up. Hold your template down and just start peeling. And I come at an angle always. I don't know why, I just always have. And 
um, you start going ahead and peeling your transfer off the the rubber. Move that over for you. And get that all peeled off. And we picked up all of our stones. There's not one stone left in there. Got a little mix up right there, so we'll just set that down. Okay. And I saw a couple of extra stones down here in the lines. So at this point, I would come back in and I would remove any of the extra stones that are in place down there. And those are gone, and that looks good. Now you go ahead and put your bubble side of your transfer tape back on your transfer. So you can store it at this point, you could press it at this point, you know, you could uh, do anything and it's ready to go. And that is our, um, that is as my heroes. Um, do not wear capes transfer and just make sure you have a good connection with all your stones again you, at this point you can do a good check over make sure they're all sitting straight side up if they aren't you still have time to go in there and work them over just a little bit but that's the transfer that we just made and I'm going to go ahead and press it and show it on a shirt and get a little bit here for you Thank you for watching. This is Sandy Joe at RhinestoneTemplates.com. And subscribe to our, um, our YouTube channel if you want to, and you'll see all the new videos that come out. We're also on Facebook um, under RhinestoneTemplates.com or BlingDivaUSA.com. Um, we have lots of different pages, so come and join us if you'd like. And um, if you need any help at all, just let me know, and I'll be glad to help you. Thank you.